Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your reading. Um, when I was shuffling out the spread, what I saw was, uh, I see this farmer. He's male, um, probably in his early 20s. He's got like a straw hat on. He's got overalls and uh, his overalls are rolled up to his knees. And uh, I think he's barefoot. He's in a field with a shovel. He's got all these holes that he's digging and he's um, placing... I guess carrots or cabbage or cauliflower or something he's planting something and um, this gopher keeps coming into his field and as soon as he puts something down it um, runs up to it it steals his crop and then it retreats back into its hole so I feel like as soon as he lays something down someone would come and steal it from him and uh, after doing that you know for like 15 minutes he's just like I'm tired of this and uh, he puts out like a bunch of, you know, um, uh, probably like a compost. It looks like a compost bin where he's been keeping all of his food scraps, especially vegetable and fruit, fruit scraps. So vegetables and fruits, not meat or anything like that. And then once he does that, the gopher then just goes up to the, the bin and it takes whatever it wants. And it's feasting while he's able to successfully, you know, uh, plant his crops. Okay. So, you know, let's unpack this uh, message here. I feel like there's a lot of creative problem solving that you're doing um, for, for the rest of January, where you see, us, uh, you see a problem and you're definitely um, more receptive to thinking outside the box, employing different methods in order to solve your problems. I see for many of you, um, you're not crowdsourcing, you're not asking other people, you're not consulting other people, you're taking initiative to really problem solve and to really kind of, um, you know, take care of things that need, uh, if there is something that's urgent and it's a problem, you're taking care of things. So you're not procrastinating, you're being very proactive about moving towards, you know, what you want. And if there are obstacles in your way, you know how to create creatively uh, outmaneuver the situation and to be able to work around things okay um, so that's the first message the second thing is um, I feel almost like you know this golfer it's it's more of a pest it's more of an annoyance right so I feel like there might be a situation where somebody is uh, taking from you energetically okay um, there might be somebody who's a little bit pesty, a little bit uh, pessimistic is also the word I'm getting, pesty or pessimistic. And um, it, it seems like with everything that they do, you have to redo it. That's what it feels like to me. So I see this, you know, the farmer uh, planting and then having to replant. So I feel like there's somebody in your work environment. And I definitely don't think it's you that's having to do this because when you do something, um, whatever that you do, it's very secure, okay? If you're tying a hammock, I would trust that a Scorpio would tie it very, very tightly so that no matter how much weight is exerted on it, it won't fall off. It, it won't, you know, uh, tear. It won't uh, slip off the tree trunk, for example. So whatever you do, you do it very meticulously. You do it with great care and you do it with great diligence. But I feel like there is an element here about um, you delegating or assigning the task to another person. And for whatever reason, the other person is like coming to you asking for follow up uh, directions, uh, following up instructives, and it's it's almost like you have to uh, redo whatever the work that they're doing. So it seems like a little bit of an annoyance. And uh, I'm also seeing this element about many of you, um, possibly like there might have been some changes, some fluctuations in your work environment, and where you're anticipating some type of a payout okay so i feel like you know it could be tax season um it's the beginning of the year and we usually you know try to calibrate like how much we have to pay in taxes so i feel like some of you are you, you have that nagging feeling in the back of your mind like i think my ex um my i think my earnings are going to you know ex ex like my earnings might have exceeded last year so i might need to pay out of pocket for some things so you're thinking about some type of a big expenditure that you're going to have to um pay out from now until the next i would say six months 
And then for some of you, I feel like it's uh, it's child related, schooling fees, camp fees, um, just you know the the everyday, day to day function of uh, having a child, um, parenting, and and things like that. Okay, so I do see some major things that you're anticipating, and so you're saving up. Okay, um, aside from those things, what I do feel is there is a a lot of new changes that are happening in your life in general. I have here the death card and I have here the ten of pentacles so I feel like for many of you you're regaining your sense of stability okay and what exactly does that mean regaining our sense of stability I feel like there was a situation or a person that has really thrown you off course thrown you off course they messed with your sense of stability Okay, and I don't feel it's finances um, like related. It's not like they came in and took your money. They came in and, you know, um, asked for things. I, I don't feel it has anything to do with that because you guys are actually quite good with drawing boundaries. Um, I just feel like whatever you believed, I feel almost like when you're around this person, they kind of rattle your cage a little bit they made you feel very uneasy or there was a situation where you just felt very very uneasy and many of you have now transitioned away from it okay we have the death card we have the seven of swords this is the wobbly person the person that was like a little bit cutthroat a little bit like my way or the highway and i'm going to you know um walk over people obstacles and things blast through things and disregard other people's feelings and things like that so i feel like they're a little bit a, a little bit more like self-absorbed self-centered and they don't really see the consequences of their actions and um you have moved on away from this okay so the death card indicates transition is no longer allowing this situation to happen but taking control of this wheel and moving yourself away and as a result of moving away you are coming to a better sense of who you are a better sense of stability overall we have here the ten of pentacles the ultimate stability card okay this is like regaining your freedom regaining your strength regaining your resources and coming to the point where you feel like you feel like you're you're capable of handling responsibilities you feel like you have a new lease on life and you just feel very very content and very stable and i also feel uh finances really picking up for many of you new projects here ace of wands new projects coming into the picture as well as six of pentacles financial windfall okay new payouts money that will be coming in in large uh, quantities large chunks so for those of you who um are working in some type of um, stable institutions you know governmental institutions for example i feel like there's money coming through for those of you who have done a project I feel like you're getting paid for your services. It might come a little bit belatedly, but I feel that's coming through with the Six of um, Pentacles. And then I also feel like, you know, the um, money of uh, piling up in the bank. So I do feel many of you are at a point where you are um, able to reach stability and also, you know, have more disposable income, have more money trickling in for you, which is really, really positive. I like to see this. And as a result of that, I feel like, you know, it's um, it's making you feel really happy, very, very secure in this present moment. OK, um, the other thing that really drew me towards this side of the spread, it keeps like going this way. I like this card. Um, it came out for cancers. I, I think um, Taurus and cancer. I'm not really sure, but it did come out like for three signs, you included uh, this month. So this is sort of like uh, some type of a bold, brazen proposition or communication. I feel in this case, it is a proposition. I feel like there is a person that you're kind of uh, putting all your cards on the table. You putting all your cards on the table. It's all very reminiscent of the Last Supper. You know, there's a sense of like, I've got nothing to lose. I'm going to put everything on the table. I'm going to put my feelings on the line. I'm going to put everything out there. If you're dealing with another uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this might be them. But I feel like this might be your energy, okay? I'm going to put everything out on the table. 
and here's what I feel, here's what I want to do, here is my proposal, here is how I want things to move forward. For some of you, I feel like this is um, like work negotiations, okay? So if you're, um, if you're negotiating a work contract, okay? Um, I want you guys to do this. I want this person to be in charge of that, like delegating. Okay. But I feel like you're doing it in a, in a way where you are taking, really taking charge of the situation. And you're just like, okay, I want Bob assigned to this. Last time we assigned it to Jim, didn't work out too well. So here's how it's going to go. And so I see you taking initiative, taking charge, taking control of a situation, putting what you feel, what you think, what you want to happen all on the line. And the other people, you know, they can choose to accept or they can choose to kind of walk away. So you're being very clear when it comes to, you know, uh, your communication and especially in terms of um, if we want this to work, here's how it's going to work. And, um, you know, putting your foot down. That's definitely the way I'm seeing it. And uh, I see for many of you, though, it, this might be in the relationship realm. Okay, it, it might be like with family, it might be in the relationship realm. And um, I have a situation here. We have an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And then we also have a Taurus person um, on this side. So what I'm feeling is there's somebody here. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a Taurus. And what you're planning to do is you're trying to paint them a picture you're trying to show them, here's how, if we take this course of action, here's how everything is going to look. And you're kind of like um, painting this image for them, projecting this image for them. And there's a lot of communication back and forth. And I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very, very skeptical, okay? They might be a little bit more on the pessimistic end. They might be a little bit more skeptical uh, skeptical they might be a little bit more doubtful they might just have a very analytical mind because you know air signs and especially Taurus they're very practical people they're they're more like uh, tell me a little bit more and uh, they ask follow-up questions and they're able to you know see if there are plot holes or if there are potential pitfalls or potential obstacles so you're dealing with someone who's very bright who's very sharp and you're being very truthful and honest and just very, um, you know, open and candid with them. This is what I want. Here is how it's going to happen. Are you on board with me? And I feel like they, they need a lot more convincing. You know, they, they don't want the emotional statement. They want the facts. They want the figures. They want something that is a little bit more tangible, a little bit more real and a little bit more, um, I, I would say, practical and realistic. And I feel like making an emotional appeal is just not really going to cut it with uh, these signs specifically that you're dealing with, okay? Um, there's also a big element in the spread here about you guys having been through situations where it really tested your strength. It really tested how much you could endure. It really uh, tested, you know, your capabilities, okay? And this is uh, something quite heavy. You can see in the background, you know, it's not a, it's a gruesome image, okay? It's about like winner takes all. It's very cutthroat. It's an environment where um, people were wounded. And either way, you came out of this, Scorpio. And I feel like coming out of this made you a lot more self-aware. And I feel like for some of you um, in the past, okay, there was a situation that you held on to very, very, very um, dearly. It was almost like this refusal to let go, okay? This refusal to accept things. Um, it, it's almost like you have a vision or you have an idea how things are going to be and then the reality didn't match up with it and you kept hanging on and hanging on and hanging on and telling yourself, you know, it's going to get better, but it didn't. And so since you have already moved away from that, I feel like you're at a point now where you're just like, you know, I was wrong in the way that I assessed that situation. So moving forward. I'm going to still put all my thoughts, my feelings, my everything, lay it all on the table. But 
I'm going to loosen the control and the reins a little bit so that these people who might have the skills and the expertise, they can potentially show me some of the pitfalls, steer me in the right path, because now you're at a point where uh, I feel like, you know, you're okay with not knowing everything. You're okay with um, not controlling things, controlling for outcomes, controlling for situations, okay? Um, th so that's what I'm, I'm sensing here. Um, the message that I'm getting as well is um, things are going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit slow to, to move forward, to proceed. So for those of you who have started something new, I feel like it's going to take some time. And I especially see some major, major um, like headway being, it's like blasting through obstacles and some major, major uptick when it comes to your status, when it comes to the way people perceive you, when it comes to success in your career front, especially in the uh, May and the June time frame. So right now you're laying out the foundation, you're trying to fit, you know, where things are going to go, what am I going to focus on? And um, it's like hashing out plans with another person. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a discussion over food. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And how this is going to come about. And I feel like, you know, it's a conversation that's supposed to be over lunch, over dinner. And then it drags on for three to four hours because there's just so much to talk about and so many things to consider. But you're laying the foundation and you're laying the groundwork. And I feel like there's going to be tremendous success for you coming in in the time of... Um, I see here May and also the June time frame where it's going to things are going to start to gel and solidify and just, you know, come into the fold for you. OK, so finances, I don't feel like it's going to be uh, a problem moving forward. 2019 is going to be really, really good for you guys. Um, the last thing that I do want to mention is um, there's um, I'm I'm seeing something here about you know um knowing when to kind of like stop investing your energy okay so it's not earlier it's about the golfer and the farmer and about you know creatively problem solve um but i also feel this element about knowing when not to invest your energy knowing when something is kind of like uh dead and gone and needs to be buried and laid to rest and you know being able to move on and i feel for many of you this is an emotional type of a uh, realization you know uh this is not working and i don't want to invest my energy in it anymore because i feel like you you have done a lot of learning from the past and in the past you try to revive it right you try to use the um defibrillator you try to resurrect you try to resuscitate something that didn't want to be resuscitated. And I feel like moving forward, you're just like, I'm not gonna exert that energy. I'm not going to interfere with somebody else's free will. I'm not going to invest my time or waste energy in a situation that doesn't want to be revived. And so it, it's a good course of action that you're definitely moving forward with, okay? Um, I also have as well, um, there's this, you know, new passion that's um, coming to the surface as well. But I, I do feel like you have a lot of other things that are going on in your life that you want to take care of. So the, the burgeoning, you know, new relationship, new passion, new uh, attraction that you feel for another person. It's something very new. And I feel like there's a coyness. There's almost this energy about, you know, not feeling like it's ready to be birthed or ready to be... Uh, brought into your life just yet. So it's still floating around. And um, I feel for many of you, Taurian, Taurus, uh, Earth sign energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn too. That's uh, a new emergence in your life. Okay. And I feel like it's somebody who's very generous, very loving, very generous with their time, money, and resources. And it's somebody who's very, very stable. So they are looking for, you know, a commitment. They want somebody who is, um, in it for the long haul and i feel like you are aware of this and you are as well um not at a point where you're 100 percent ready yet okay so i'm gonna leave it at that scorpio i hope the reading is helpful for you guys um i will be back in february okay so i'll talk to you guys soon